We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Welcome back to another Vintage Collection action figure review. We're looking at the newly released Axe Woves Privateer for action figure from Mandalorian Season 3. This is number VC315. You can see on the back. Now, this more or less is just a re-release of the existing uh, Axe Woves figure that came out oh, probably a, couple, a year or two ago. Um, hard to place a point on exactly when that was released. <laughs> um... Because effectively, despite using the same card back, they've effectively given us the same figure because Axe did have a slight change of outfit come Season 3. As you can sort of see the differences there between his armour on the Im image and particularly throughout the chest and on the figure um, as well as the belt. Uh, but we'll get into that. We'll take a look at the figures side by side. I do have the original. Um, the biggest arguments with the original was that the helmet was too oversized, um, given that Koska Reeves and Bo-Katan both came with swap outs. So they've actually corrected that and given us a swap out helmet this time. So I don't know whether it need, needed a new card back. Um, I, I think they could have just put it out on the existing card back um, or put it in a multi or something. There could have been another way um, if they weren't going to actually do anything with the figure. But we'll talk about that. We'll talk about what they could have done. Um, so let's bust him open and have a look. Okay, here is Axe Woe's Privateer, apparently. Um, no, for the most part, this is just a straight repack of that Season 2 version of Axe Woe's. There is, um, which which is unfortunate, because they've given him a new card back. They could have, could have updated the figure a little bit, and then we could have chosen what we wanted to do with the helmet. Um, but it is what it is, so he's just going to slot in... Um, and yeah, the previous version I might use as a custom. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Um, we'll work it out. But we're going to look through this figure and just... We'll compare it to the original. Um, I don't think there's any differences. I've got them side by side here. So we'll get a close-up look at the figure there. It's a, it is a good likeness of, of the actor. Uh, Simon Cass, I can't remember how, how his last name is pronounced, so I do apologise. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, 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 it's a good figure. It just, yeah, it just didn't need to be the same figure, you know. Um, very grateful that they did listen and they went back and fixed the helmet. I think that's a good idea. Hopefully Sabine Wren gets the same treatment. At some point, she doesn't need to get re-released in the deluxe. Well, she's going to do something different, but... Yeah, the whole purpose of this re-release is to get this... This helmet. And if I stand it next to the original... You can just see... The size differences there. We can almost put that helmet over the top so yeah it is a much much needed upgrade because that's you know that's quite a big difference so I'm just going to pop off his head pop on the helmet and yeah that does look a lot better if anything, it might, the helmet might be sitting a little too low. I don't know, maybe that's just me being a little bit nitpicky. Um, but there's nothing like a tiny little spot of blue tack. Just poke it into the, into the hole there. Just uh, lift it up just a little bit. See if then I haven't popped it all the way on. That's sort of sitting a little bit nicer. But it does. It looks much better than, than this. Put the helmet on the original. Yeah, because that was just a big, big old bucket. <laughs> but while I've got them both here, may as well go side by side and just compare the two. Yeah, there's, even in terms of the paint applications, there is minimal to no differences there. Even looking at the, the silver sort of scratches on the on the thigh armor there. The paint apps on the boots. 
the new one's actually got a little bit of blue scuffing on there, but that's an easy fix. Yeah, little to no difference at all between the two. I mean, some will say you're paying, you're paying for a new helmet, but you're actually buying the figure. You're not just buying a helmet. So it's up to the individual. This is something I wanted to do just for the look of my Mandalorians. The way they look together. Um, and you know, like I said, I could customise this old one. Um, find a spare he head, put another head on it. I don't know, paint up the helmet. I don't know. I've got plenty of options. Find a spare Mando helmet, put that on. Tweak him up a little bit. He could be another, another Mandalorian. But yeah, talking about the card back. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a bit of a close-up on the faces. See which one is... Slightly better. You know what? I think the old one here on the right. There's a slight different change in hair colour. This one's... The, the new one's got a light, little bit darker. I don't know. I think the old one's going on the new figure, if that's the case. Or I'm just going to leave this one helmet helmetless. You can sit elsewhere on the shelf. We'll see. I've got plenty of spare heads, so I could just do a swap out. But yeah, for now, this one's going to be helmeted, because he, lo he looks good with the helmet. But yeah, we're talking about the, the card back at the start, and the uh, and the armour, which could have been quite a simple change, you know. You know, we've got the option of, you know, we've got Boba Fett, you know, it's a slightly different different torso there given that Boba has sort of the, the sleeves at the top over the shoulders and then we have the new Mandalorian Fleet Commander which I'll be reviewing next so you've got a torso option there so yeah they, they had the option of you know revisiting that sort of chest portion of the figure even the belt I'm sure they've got some little bits and pieces that they could have done to adjust that, but it's not the end of the world for me personally, so I'm just going to live on. I, I do like the look of this one. I'm very much happier with this now than I was before. You know, I just sort of had him helmet, helmetless standing behind Bo and Koska, but now he can sort of stand there with them. And have those three together, given that Bo Katan still has her season two look. You know, it's not too, I'm not too fussed about how Axe looks. It is a nice card image, just yeah, the figures doesn't match the card, so But either way, I'm okay with it. He's going to fit in nicely on the shelf now that he has a helmet that you know definitely more aesthetically pleasing you can't argue with those facts um does look better I'm definitely gonna put a little spot of blue tack in the in the hole there just to just to give it that little bit more room make the helmet sit up a little bit higher but otherwise he's good So yeah, if you definitely if you missed out on the original with the big helmet, this is a perfect opportunity to grab to grab Axe now. So yeah, love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know. If you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you all taking the time to take a look. And we'll see you again tomorrow for the Fleet Commander. We'll take a look at that figure. I'm looking forward to that. Um See you then. May the force be with you always.